Hello everyone, I am Shine and you are watching Civil Engineering Tips channel. This is the 16th tutorial of Stat Pro. In this tutorial, we are going to apply wind load to our structure. Before starting this tutorial, I want to remind you one thing. In 15th tutorial, the previous one, I did a mistake. I forgot to input negative sign in front of floor load intensity. Please keep that in mind that floor load always works in y direction downward, which is negative. That's why you must input negative sign before the magnitude. So in previous tutorials we have learned how to define and assign dead load and live load to our structure. And this is time for wind load. Let's talk about it. To apply wind load to our structure I have to click on this general option. Then I will click on this load and definition. Then this window pops up. If I double click on this load cases details, then I can see that dead load and live load have been defined and assigned already. But for these two cases, we did not use this definition option, but for wind load, we have to give definition of wind. That's why I am double clicking on this definition option. Then I will choose this wind definitions. Then we will add, we rename it as wind load. then add and close then select this type 1 then click on add here you will get a table where you need to import intensity versus height for your structure first you need to calculate all the values manually as we know wind load is lateral load so there is a specific calculation for that after that you need to put them in these columns Stat pro will use these values as load application on your building we are not discussing about wind load calculation in this tutorial. We will talk about it in detail in another tutorial. But now let's have a small review of wind load calculation. Each area has different wind speed which is called basic wind speed and denoted as VB. Then we will calculate design wind speed VZ by this following equation. You have to find these parameters for your area and input them in the equation. Then you will get design wind speed. After that we will calculate wind intensity from this equation. With height the intensity of wind increases. Taller building will be more influenced by wind compared to smaller buildings. Now we don't have wind load data so we can use ASCI 7 and calculate. So I am clicking on this option and this window pops up. Here there are some options we have to fill in. I am choosing the two 2002 option and building classification category you have to choose category i am choosing this category 2 and you have to give the basic wind speed which is vb for your area i am inputting here 148.75 miles per hour then you have to give the exposure category if i click here then there are some exposure category i am choosing the exposure b and structure type as it is a building structure so i am choosing building structures and this option consider wind speed over hills or escapement i am choosing the no option then i will apply and ok as i click ok i have gotten my values of intensity versus height these are our default data calculated as per asce7 so we can add i'm clicking on add now let's input the exposure factor exposure factor is the face of your building which is being exposed to wind it's not possible that 100 percent face of your building is exposed to wind because there are some opening like windows doors ventilators etc that's why the exposure of your building is always less than 100 percent of your building let's assume 80 percent face of our building is being exposed to wind so we'll take the factor as 0.8 then I will add and close as I close I can see here the exposure but there is a question mark so we need to assign it to our structure and it will be assigned to all nodes of our building I'm selecting this exposure and I will click on this assign to view then I will click on assign then I will click on yes then I can see that there is no more question mark in front of exposure now we are done with our wind definitions after completing this definition
definition we have to move to load cases details i am selecting this load cases details and clicking on add for win load as we assign dead load and live load and this is the third one so here the number is three and now i have to choose the loading type i am choosing the wind option now we have to give a title wind comes from x and z direction it doesn't come from vertical so we will consider x and z direction for wind load we need to define and assign four wind loads for positive x and negative x and similarly for z direction it is positive z and negative z for wind coming from positive x direction i am naming it as wl plus x then i will add and i can see my wind load here similarly i will add another one for negative x direction i am naming it as wl minus x and by default it is 4 and i will add similarly for positive z direction i am naming it as wl plus z and i will click on add option and for negative z direction i am naming it wl minus z then i will add after creating these four load cases i am clicking on close I can see these four win load cases here and now we have to assign these four load cases to our structure. Let's first assign this one. I am clicking on this option then I have to go for add and I will choose the option win load and as it is x direction so it is x and I have to give the factor 1 but here it is positive as it is positive x direction and now I have to give the range of my building if I go to my structure and check the nodes then I can see that positive x direction starts from this direction it means this face is being exposed for the wind coming from positive x and i have to give the range of this face as this portion will go under floor so i will consider from this floor and the coordinate of this point will be the minimum range for this case to know the coordinate of this point i have to make the cursor as node cursor i'm clicking on it and i will select this node and double clicking on it then i can see that the coordinate of this node is 0 2 and 0 i'm closing it and here the minimum y range is 2 and x and z coordinate is 0 for minimum range for maximum range i have to know the coordinate of this node i am double clicking on it and i am getting the coordinate here the maximum y range is 17 i am giving here as 17 x coordinate is 0 for that node but the z coordinate is 12 so we are done i am closing this window and i will add this range so i am clicking on add and close if i select this option then i can see that my wind load has been assigned on this face similarly i have to assign sign wind load for other faces and it's time for negative x direction i'm clicking on this option and i'm going to add i'm choosing the wind load option and it is x external pressure but it is negative that's why i have to input the negative sign before this factor and i will input the range for this negative x direction face i hope you can give the range for this case and i'm making it early if i click on this negative win load option i'm clicking on it and i can see that this face has been assigned for win load also and now let's consider the z direction i'm clicking on this wl plus z option then i will click on add this time i will choose the z external pressure option and as it is positive z direction so the factor will be positive and i will input the range now So this direction is positive jet direction and wind is coming from that direction and hitting this face. So this face has been assigned for wind load. Similarly I will assign wind load for this face and it is negative jet direction so I am clicking this option and clicking on add and I will choose this jet option no need to use this negative option I will input negative sign in front of the factor and i will input the range here
so this phase has been assigned for wind that is coming from negative jet direction see how easily we have assigned wind load to our structure though you have to calculate wind load intensity for your region by yourself and we will discuss about wind load calculation in detail in other tutorials so this is all for today and this is all for wind load if you have any problem or if you face any trouble then please comment below or you can use the email address that I have given to description till then happy learning keep practicing see you in the next video